Hello, welcome to this video demonstration called The Lost Cottage. Um, I have other video demonstrations as well on YouTube if you'd like to have a look. Um, please don't forget to visit my website www.thepaintings.co.uk where you might find something of interest. I also do classes uh, and workshops and have regular courses. If you're interested in a demonstration or workshop or one of the classes, please let me know. Okay, enjoy the demonstration and I'll keep you informed as we go along. Okay, the video is playing at twice normal speed, so it will allow us to go through the painting quite quickly. As you can see, I added uh, some strong darks into the top of the painting just to give it some drama. Well, the sky is about 30% dry now, so it's still damp and I can add some trees in around the cottage. And now with a nice cool grey, I want to add some distant mountains. It balances the cottage on the right hand side of the painting. These dark coloured trees and bushes really help the cottage stand out against the background. I'm now mixing a variety of greens for the foreground fields just in front of the cottage and I will leave the path in white and uh, put some darks on later to highlight that track. Well, as you can see, I'm adding some more warm colours into the grass just to add a little bit of variety. But I'm also going to highlight the path with a dark colour and then use that dark, stretch it across the path to give it its form and shape. And it adds a little bit of interest and texture in the foreground. I'm just adding some darks to either side of these fields now, leaving the cottage area highlighted. For the roof of the cottage, I'll start with a pale blue and then I'll add a few darks in there just to make it look weathered and worn. I'm painting the cottage walls now and I'm using quite a warm colour 
What I shall do then is add a dark shading to each side so we've got depth and form. And now I'm just using the rigger brush to paint this large tree in the foreground there. There's quite a lot of branches going to be on this one because I want it to really come forward in the painting. And it's quite a strong dark colour as you can see. I always find a line of fence posts uh, helps guide the, the viewer into the painting, especially when it leads along this path into the cottage. I think it helps with the composition, uh, I hope you agree. And then I did a similar thing on the other side of the path with the posts getting larger and larger in the foreground which adds recession to the painting. Okay, I think that's the fencing done. What I want to do now is just add a couple of trees uh, near to the cottage using the rigger brush. I will add some leaves to these in a moment. There we go, just with a fan brush and stippling away to put the leaves all around the tops of those long branches. Well, as you can see, I'm still using the fan brusher, but I'm using it to create extra depth by putting some darker paint into the foreground of the path. And now I'm just adding a few shadow lines across the path and up the right hand side field, just to suggest where the strong light's coming from. I do like to add a bit of life into my paintings, so I'm popping three birds into the sky, but I'm also going to put a couple of people walking down the path towards the cottage. Well, there we go we're finished um thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the demonstration don't forget there are more on youtube if you'd like to watch them uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you again soon bye for now